down below in the description is a link to the story so you can read it yourself. It's about the queen, the royal family having to dip in the reserves because they're down to like one point something uh, million, which in 2001, they had 35 million. So yeah, they've spent a lot of money and stuff. I'm thinking that this whole royal thing is like out of date to me. It seems to be a waste, I don't know, a waste of money. Um, it's just silly. And, uh, you know, they spend like, like they're the royal family, which they are, right? So, Andrew, what do you think? Do you think it's outdated? Do they really need a king and queen anymore? Uh, you know, you can't always be a smart family. So, of course, you get that one non-smart person in the royal family that makes mistakes. So, I don't know. Seems like to me we have a democratic here. So I mean, you know, people have said, have said that Obama is basically a king. You know, we don't call it that, but he's really a king, and then his wife is a queen. He's in the position of a king and queen. You know, he makes but, rules. You know, he, but he, he his could, children will not also be president. Right. There's which another is true. person that could be that's right. Smarter, we vote. That's they, they said that was the difference: is that we vote for who, who the king that we have yeah. and queen, but we just don't call it that. Uh, with a king and queen, they just kind of keep going, then their kids go, and it's, it's like in said, the family. Your I understand. kids aren't always going to be the smartest and best choice for the next person. You know, Obama's kid isn't going to be the next president. Right. Probably not. I'm not going <laughs> to... You know. then, then some people say, you know, we overspend too. Our president overspends just like they overspend, and this is just a natural part of life that people of power are going to spend money and get you in debt. They need to learn how to budget. I'm yeah, sorry. all of them do. Yeah. I think it's ridiculous. I mean, the amount of money that they, you know, it's almost like they got an unlimited credit card. It doesn't have a limit. But it does. Not really. Yeah. I mean, that's why we're one trillion. We're one trillion in debt, isn't it? One trillion. Even if we keep raising the budget, though, they, you know, the debt ceiling, it, it's, it's making our dollar worthless. I mean, it's already worthless. It's not backed by gold anymore. I guess I have to change my opinion about it's outdated and all that because we do have basically a king and a queen. It's just not called a king and a queen. But the difference between king and queen is a family. Yeah. I, I guess you know, this is just going to be a natural part of life. All these leaders, all these leaders of all these countries are going to overspend, you know. And, you know, it is kind of neat to see them all dressed up like they are, and you know, with the crown and stuff like It is cool. I mean, you know, the, that time with the knights and, and all that they went through, you know, right? Yeah. I think it's, it's pretty cool. So there's, there's no I changed knights. my mind on that. But, you know, wow, they do overspend somebody. They said the treasurer needs to be involved in this so they can kind of, you know, uh, approve um, what they spend their money on. And I think, yeah, they should. But I think everybody should. But just like our government, the president yeah. can't just... We can use the money however he pleases. It has to go through another. Yeah, it has to be voted yeah. and, and all that. Yeah. So, but, yeah. I mean, we just have a. But bad... then look what happens. They vote yes, and that's the reason why they keep spending. We Our... honestly need to start clean. Yeah. Okay? We need to get rid of all the people that are Democratic or Republican and get new all in there. They don't have a pocket already being filled by somebody. And how many recently, how many mayors and, and governors have you seen get in trouble for? You know, for spending money or, or taking bribes and all that, you go like, wow, it seems like all these people in power are uh, abusing, you know, their power until they get caught. That's, That's one reason why we find out about certain ones is because they get caught. The other ones are still doing it right now, but we haven't heard because they haven't been caught yet. People in power tend to use it to their advantage. Right. Now, even me, when Stephen and them are switching alliances. Um, my game, I took away their internet. Yeah, so. but what would happen? If, <laughs> like, what? What do you think would happen if the, if the royal family used all their money and they had nothing left? Would it collapse and there just wouldn't be no more royal family? Or what would happen? I mean, where would they? It'd probably still go on, but what's backing them? You know, and at that time they're probably gonna have a, a revolt. You know, so they're gonna have an uprising. You know, somebody's gonna want some other kind of government that's gonna make money, that's gonna be smart. You know, we honestly yeah, need I, to find somebody that is smart yeah. and just make them stay pr president until we're out of debt. Okay? <laughs> yeah, but I'm talking, about the, I'm talking about the royal family, though. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, I mean that's they, the same thing for them, though. They have to pay for the people who maintain the actual palace <sighs> and all this stuff. And if that money's gone, what would happen? I mean, really? 
would they take money from the people the government like we did and make their dollar not the same i don't know anyway in the comments down below let me know what do you think is it outdated is it should it be just you know done and over with or do you think that the people should have to pitch in to get them back up to where they are or what will they do if they run out of money all right you guys have a good one take care and god bless